What's cooking on this Friday? Everything organic. I've got Milt Drewer on my left and Randy Jenis on my right, uh, co-owner of the wine cabinet. You know this Fruit Loop. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. It's wow. the hair. I was, th I was thinking that you might come in even with a different color Next today. time. Next time. I've got pink salt this time. About pink salt. Is it organic? It's organic. Then it can stay. Okay. All right. So what are we all talking about today? Uh, we're going to be talking about organic wines and some organic beers. And then we've got Chef Milt here. He's preparing some organic chicken from Polyface Farms, one of our uh, favorite producers here locally in Shenandoah, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And this lovely dish is organic orzo pasta. Organic orzo pasta. Delicious for the springtime, backyard, barbecue, whatever you want to do with it. It's delicious. Light, all organic. But you're also talking organic chicken. And organic our chicken. And I've got a spicy organic salsa verde sauce to go on top of the chicken. And enough about the food. Let's okay. get back to the wine. Um, <laughs> no. so well, the Priorities. Key, right. The key about organic, I mean, is organic wine really going to taste different and or better than regular wine? Well, here's the deal. The question used to be when we talk to different people in the industry is like, why are you going organic? Mm -hmm. But really the question these days is why not? Because uh. what's better for the land is better for the vine, which is better for the wine. And better for us. Better That's wine right. is better for us. All right. We'll cook it all up, drink it all up when we come back a little later. I think he's trying to get a job here. What do you guys think? Well, Please. come on. The more the better. Thank you. Thank you, Allison. Join the That's rest scary. of the Fruit Loops. I'll be right, right. up. <laughs> Did you hear? Okay. She said, join the rest of the Fruit Loops. You'll fit right in. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> all right. Let's head on over to Studio B, see what Holly's got cooking this morning. Oh, I'm trying to keep it calm here. I got a. Oh going on between these two girls. Nice. Oh, listen, Milt Drewer here, one of our favorite chefs. He's back on Midday. And Randy Jenis from the Wine Cabinet is here. And we are talking uh, all things organic. And we're starting with organic wine because that's probably maybe an area that you got to kind of explain a little more to people. We've kind of, you know, been doing the organic food thing for a while, but organic wine... Sell me. What is probably the best place for Pinot Noir in North America, and that's Willamette Valley. Uh -huh. And this is a whole cluster of Pinot Noir, so it's actually fermented in the whole cluster by Willamette Valley Vineyards, and we'll be pairing that with milk chicken, right, Milt? All right, right, well, let's talk a little bit about the chicken right now. Okay. Um, these chicken tenders. Yes. We've got chicken tenders from Polyface Farms mm -hmm. in the Shenandoah Valley, so it's all organic. I've got my little pink sea salt from Australia. Uh, Milton, why pink? That's not funny. I like the color pink. Don't, yeah. don't make no, it funny. No, it's not just pink. It's Australian flake salt. Yes. I, I'm just saying. Pink. I'm it's just fancy. saying flake. Okay. You know, right. Oh, no. you're back to the fruit loop. <laughs> the uh, he brought uh, up the pink. It. No, no. Uh, it, match, it matches pink. his underwear. I was just reading the label. You know, We're supposed here. to read labels I'm these not days. I'm trying to get beat up this morning. All right. All right. So put a little. So we got that. That's in. That's delicious. This is the. The star of the show, I think, that's the organic chicken. This is organic orzo pasta. Everything in here is organic. The peppers are organic. The olives are organic. I've got feta cheese in here, some olive oil, Ooh, some seasoning. That sounds fabulous. For a spring day on the backyard, you got a couple yeah. people over for dinner, a bottle of Randy's wine. This on a nice little plate with a little bit of chicken. I've got a little salsa verity to go on top of the chicken. It's light, it's healthy, and it's all organic, so it's good, it's good for yeah. you. It's good for the, you know, so the environment. So we can have like two or three portions. Three or four right. or five. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so what are we we're pairing with the chicken and then with the pasta as yeah, well? Yeah, we're going to pair the Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. But for those of you who aren't wine people, we have organic beer. And this is a little Belgium farmhouse brewery hmm. uh, called Brasserie DuPont is the name of the producer. It's spicy. Uh, it's a lighter style ale. They use organic uh, barley and hops. Uh, has some fig flavors to it, some cinnamon flavors to it. It's actually a gorgeous bottle. Uh, and then uh, we'll do Michael Honig's wine here at the end. Which that's is the nice best wine cabernet. ever. Yeah, really? Milton, this is one of your favorites, that's right? That's my favorite wine. Absolutely. Cabernet, that's Ooh, my favorite. Yeah. The king. Right. The, it's, the cabernet. But uh, we got to get some wine going here because... It's um, about time. I didn't want to bring that up. Yeah, now, but you do have a fun... Um, you also have a fun kind of motto going right now, which is enjoy red, enjoy white. Think green. Think green. Is what we do at the wine cabinet. We have a little six-pack here that uh, people can... Uh, Help us save the earth by uh, using less paper and plastic and bring it back to the wine cabinet. Now, Holly, normally yeah. I would serve the lady first, mm -hmm. but when there's food on the table, you always take care of the oh, chef first. Oh, though. very good. <laughs> That's a good little tip. That is delicious. That's delicious wine. And this is your favorite, you said? No, this is the Pinot. My oh, favorite. this is the Pinot. He won't open my favorite because he knows I'll <laughs> take it Because you won't home. share. It's, uh -huh. about, the, it's uh -huh. about the pairing, uh -huh. right. It's about the food. The food. Delicious. Ooh, that is good. And it will be even better when we taste up this food. 
the party right here in the studio. Don't forget that we have the recipes and information on all the organic wine on our website, myfoxdc.com. Uh, and if you have a chef or a restaurant or a wine shop or a dish you'd like to see whipped up here, just drop us a line at WTTG.com. What's cooking at WTTG.com, I should say. And we'll see if we can book them on the midday show. Uh, but only if you have hair as crazy as Melts Thank will you we let much. you on. I no, I'm just kidding. I love all right. <laughs> Round <laughs> okay, one. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. We'll taste it all up when we come back. Stay with us. Milt Drewer, Randy Jennis, back with us uh, from the wine cabinet. And um, so now we're tasting it all up, huh? Mm -hmm. So here's my question about organic, be it organic wine, be it organic food, because times are tough right now. Sometimes organic tends to be more expensive. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it worth the difference? Randy, you can handle that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just People step out of that one, Milt says. <laughs> um, I mean, take a look at Whole Foods, they're doing a fabulous job. And people are entertaining in. And that's why we're helping people mm, entertain in. It's they're fabulous. coming to our it shop. Good, good weekend, everybody. Everybody. Thanks, guys. <laughs>